Hello class, my name is Jennifer Flores and today I will inform you about Costa Rican green policies. Imagine a country about the size of West Virginia being one of the world's most biodiverse countries. That is Costa Rica. According to the organization Earth Law Center, Costa Rica is only about 0.03% of the land mass of Earth, but it contains 5% of the world's biodiversity. Due to Costa Rica's priority on conservation, its green policies have made it possible for a robust ecotourism industry to emerge, which accounts for 3% of its GDP or 1.8 US billion dollars. Being such a small developing country, Costa Rica has been able to preserve its land by integrating its green policies into its ecotourism industry. Costa Rican green policies and ecotourism have been able to save and preserve its biodiversity and help community. I will first be talking about the history of Costa Rican green policies, and then I will talk about how it intertwines with its ecotourism industry. More than three quarters of Costa Rica was covered in trees in the 1940s. But the decades that followed diminished the country's forests as logging companies turned forests into profits. Fast forward to the 1980s, and there was only a third of trees that, that used to cover Costa Rica. As Rhett A. Butler writes for the Mongo Bay website, in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s, Costa Rica had a very high deforestation rate. The Central American country has now signed 45 environmental treaties, most of which were ratified in the 1990s and 2003. Costa Rica has also implemented several regulatory bodies, such as the Organic Law of Ministry of Environment and Energy in 1993, the Environmental Law in 1995, the Forest Law in 1996, and the Biodiversity Act in 1998. According to the Costa Rican Embassy website, the Biodiversity Act deals with the social demand to conserve and protect biodiversity and endangered species. Also includes measures on the demand to conserve and protect biodiversity, the demand to conserve, protect, and sustainably exploit biological resources to ensure that the quality of life for future generations and the survival of natural heritage. All of these laws and hard work has paid off for the Central American country. And in 2019, Costa Rica received the 2019 Champions of Earth Award for its role in protecting the nature and its com commitment to policies that combat climate change. As Inger Anderson, the executive director of the UN Environment Program, told the UNEP website, Costa Rica has been a pioneer in pr the protection of peace and nature and sets an example for the region and the world. With the implementation of its green policies, the ecotourism industry was able to arise and become one of the key elements of this nation's progress. When Costa Rica decided that it would focus on conserving its forests in the 1990s, it also put an emphasis on ecotourism. As Rhett A. Butler writes for the Mongo Bay website, people began to see that saving forests could generate just as many jobs and as much money as cutting down wood or agricultural land. Through the recovery of this nation's forests, it was also able to preserve its wildlife and help its economy with the ecotourism industry. And as Anywhere.com reports, the concept of ecotourism has to a large extent been pioneered in Costa Rica, and the industry is now the country's second largest form of income 
and foreign exchange. According to Gustavo Segura Sancho, the Minister of Tourism, we made a decision as a country that tourism would be a tool for social progress, not just an industry that produces jobs. Ecotourism essentially allows for the conservation of land because it gives initiatives for different things like the expansion of Costa Rica's national park system. It also brings tourists to a smaller rural and coastal areas, the areas most in need of social progress. And through this, ecotourism allows for building of new schools and hospitals which in turn help these communities. According to Gustavo Segura Sancho, the Minister of Tourism, what, has, what this has really meant is that we now have 26% of our territory in some form of conservation and the main source of financing for these efforts of conservation is tourism. Through its green policies and ecotourism, Costa Rica has been able to save its biodiversity and help its communities. With the implementation of green policies and the rise of ecotourism, Costa Rica has been able to save and preserve its forests, and it has been able to thrive as one of the top green countries in the world. Thank you.